Okay guys, hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm here, uh, I have my computer up, and I'm looking at um, a few of your guys' questions that I wanted to answer in video format, uh, just because I think a lot of pe other people might have the same question. So, the first question here is from Shamara, or Shamara T. Hi there, I'm following you for a while, really liked your manifestation story regarding studies and all. I've been recently having a hard time in persisting of assumption. I don't know where to start. A lot of bad experiences keep me from thinking positive and I'm having a hard time in maintaining the faith. Hope to hear from you soon. All right, thank you so much for posting that question. Um, listen, you're not alone. This is something that I think all of us have experienced when it's come to you know, persisting in our assumption of the end reality we desire. So completely, totally natural, you know, there's nothing wrong with you or anything like that. This is just, you know, sort of the the obstacle that we have to overcome. Um, and again, every, every obstacle that we have is all mental. It was Neville Goddard that said the game of life is played on the playing field of the mind. So everything is mental when it comes to all of this stuff. It's all mental. Just remember that. So getting back to your question um you're saying you don't know where to start um i would highly suggest that you go watch my videos on uh my one video which is a guide to manifesting the complete guide you know that's a good place to start but to answer your question it sounds to me that you um have a lot of voices in your head and that your attention is completely absorbed by some voices that are counter or opposite of what you really desire, right? So what is the solution to this? The solution to becoming aware of where you're placing your attention is to learn how to become incredibly still. Learn how to sit in stillness. Learn how to meditate, okay? This is probably the master key to properly manifesting and creating your reality, okay? Um, and, you know, any mystic that you read about or study will talk about the stillness or the silence. That is where you, you get the work done, okay, to manifest things. So... First, I would recommend you learn how to sit in stillness and learn how to watch the voices in your head. What that will do, how I kind of put it is, when we're going about our day, you know, I'll use this hand as awareness. This, this is our awareness and this is, you know, our thoughts and the voices in our head, right? And when we're kind of sort of on autopilot, what happens is, um, our awareness gets kind of linked up and absorbed in the thoughts and the, you know, the, the energy formations in our mind. And as a result, we're unconscious. We don't know where our awareness is because it's always just getting pushed and pulled and, and sucked into this endless stream of thoughts. What happens when you learn how to meditate is you learn how to become still, incredibly still. And what happens is when you become still, you'll notice that there is a moment or it may be a prolonged moment where you are very, very uncomfortable. And the reason is because your, <laughs> your awareness is now kind of getting pulled out from those thoughts, that thought stream. And your, your mind and your thought doesn't like that because it needs your awareness to survive. So it's incredibly uncomfortable at first, but you'll notice the longer that you sit in stillness, the more you become relaxed, what happens is your awareness gets pulled out from those thoughts. And now you're kind of free to watch all these thoughts and all this, you know, all these mental things that are going on, but you're there as the observer, as the observer, just watching all this activity in your mind. And now, the beautiful thing is you realize you're a lot bigger 
than your thoughts and those multiple voices in our heads, right? We have so many different voices in our heads. We have the voice that is scared of what other people think of us. We have the voice that is scared to take risks and, um, uh, you know, do something stupid and stand out. And we have this, the voice that, the, really the main voice is the, the voice that's scared to die, the voice that's scared of death. You know, there's all these different voices that are in our head. There's also other voices too. There's voices that are um, our happy voice, right? The voice that gets excited about things, the voice that has fun in life, right? But sometimes for a lot of us, you know, those voices, those positive voices are so much more in the background and they're really not getting enough attention while these other voices the fear the the fear of judgment the fear of death those voices are getting a lot of our awareness and our attention so what meditation does and what sitting in stillness does is help you to become aware of where you have been placing your attention and once you learn how to really sit in stillness um, that is when it's a lot easier for you to begin visualizing um, your, your desired end realities. And I just put out a video about how important it is to have fun when it comes to visualizing because that is an energy, having fun is an energy that will transcend you or lift you up from those lower realities and those lower voices. So have fun. Have fun when it comes to imagining the end reality that you want to live in. That's just, it's so important. And like, again, I'm just really on this like wave, this like, this, um, this energy. I'm so on this energy of like having fun when it comes to visualizing and imagining the highest reality that you can imagine for yourself. Like take off all the limits for what you believe that is possible for you and just get a pen and paper and write down your wildest dreams. No matter how big it is, I don't care how big, I don't care if it's your wildest dream is that you want to go take a spaceship to Jupiter, like write it down, <laughs> okay? I don't care how ridiculous it is, you're not going to show it to anyone, so who cares? Just write it down um, and imagine it and play with it in your imagination and have fun with that. Um, but I think in order to get into that state, first you needed to learn how to sit in stillness and like, like I said again, extract or pull out your awareness from all those voices in your head and you first need to learn how to watch those voices in your head okay so that is my recommendation to you i think i probably really went off topic but um yeah like i said have fun learn how to sit in stillness i know that you mentioned that you had a lot of bad experiences from your past that keeps you from thinking positive um like I said, that sounds like that's a voice in your head that just keeps reminding you of your past. That It's a voice that probably keeps on telling you that, look, you can't live this life or the life that you want to live because your past experiences are proof that you're not able, capable of doing it. Um, that's just a voice, okay? You don't have to put your awareness onto that voice, okay? So, like I said, learn how to sit in stillness. Start having fun when it comes to imagining and visualizing and scripting and writing down, writing things down and let me know what happens. All right, go watch my other videos as well. My guides to manifestation, um, my guides to scripting, uh, all that. I have a bunch of videos on, you know, learning how to keep the faith, drop realities, all that stuff. So go ahead and search around on my channel. And I thank you so much for posting that question. Uh, keep updated on all the new videos that I'm coming out with, and I will see you guys in a another video. Till next time, goodbye.